is Solar PVTV from the sunny Catania for the first time, and we are with the first, let's say, honorary speaker today at the event of uh, Alliance for Rural Electrification, focused on the investment in the emerging markets related to overgrid solutions, and we are together with Antonella Kamisekra, CEO of NL Green Power. We met last time in Ethiopia, then uh, we were supposed to meet in Nairobi, but actually we meet here in Italy. And it's a very interesting story because in 2005, together with Ernesto Macias, the founder of Alliance, we organized the first PVMED conference in the same place. So, Antonello, buongiorno, hello. Hello, everybody. Yes, so it was a very interesting presentation that you presented today uh, when you showed the map of Africa today and the map that you would like to have in a few years. Uh, can you tell us how would you like to arrive to this goal? As we said in the discussion, uh, there are not only a possible way, but there are many ways uh, to reach the goal of uh, giving the possibility to people to live a modern life. So with access to water, to a roof, and of course to electricity. And it's a combination of uh, technologies, so of resources, and uh, of uh, programs. So to be more specific, we believe that the future, the access to energy will happen through renewables, which is a good news because imagine how many uh, hundreds of millions of people starting consuming electricity in an unsustainable way will pose an unacceptable further burden to the sustainability of the entire planet. So by giving access to electricity to all those 630 million of Africans in particular, not having access to electricity through renewables is a good the only possible solution. It's a good news and the only, only possible way to do it in a sustainable way. And it will happen through mainly through solar and wind. It will happen through a combination of uh, decentralized, uh, small scale uh, uh, home um, systems, mini grids, micro grids, but it's our strong convincement that we can uh, really scale up and bring electricity in uh, abundant, sustainable, cheap, and affordable way only through the implementation of uh, uh, continental uh, programs, uh, like, uh, for example, the scale in solar. So by investing in uh, utility scale projects, by investing in infrastructures, uh, transmission infrastructures, to provide the quantity, the quality, and the cost for electricity that the development uh, both from the demographic and the economical point of view will uh, necessarily require. Mm. So we have a view that only through the combination of means. So for, a, for probably the next 15 years that has been a narrative about the, the, the beauty and the uh, possible achievements through mini grids. Now the evidence is that this is not happening. So we have still more people without access to electricity than in 2000. So it's a, a num a, a, an evidence that uh, it's imposing a rethinking of the strategy to bring electricity to, to Africans. Because I think that we need to think about uh, different uh, business models, but also different applications. Yeah? So utility scale, mini grid, uh, you know, like a particular uh, homeowners, yes, because there is a market for all, yeah? Absolutely. Not only there is market for everything, but it, there is convergence and currents between the different business models. So we need emergency um, small projects to give immediate access to electricity to the ones that are living in the darkness today, so they cannot wait 2030 or 40. It's unacceptable. Mm -hmm. We have to do something now. But at the same time, we need to ignite a new discussions on grid, distribution networks, grid infrastructure, with the involvement of private companies that, like in uh, the generation sector, can accelerate mm -hmm. and speed up the implementation of projects. So that after having access through, let's say, rudimental or frugal uh, technological means, which is the solar lanterns or the small home system, then we can really bring power to the villages where then economy can flourish thanks to the access to electricity. Because uh, you are also president of Res for Africa and uh, uh, recently we had a very interesting discussion uh, with uh, uh, Res for Africa team that actually now we are not speaking anymore about uh, renewable energy, like, you know, like uh, energy, but actually we are speaking about empowering the country, yes? Indeed, we don't talk anymore of renewable energy, we, we talk of sustainable energy because it's a concept that is much broader than pure energy. Mm -hmm. So sustainable energy is renewable energy, of course, mm -hmm. Delivered in a sustainable way through capacity building, involvement of local communities, creation of uh, 
shared value to establish and protect the long-term stability and sustainability of the project that we implement. It's energy for in Africa, for the Africans, made with Africans, mm -hmm. or in Latin America with Latin America. Uh, I visited uh, your team in uh, Rome. So we are speaking about contribution to the society, uh, but what I liked actually more, it's the circular economy. economy. Yes. And I would like to ask you, you know, that you explain, because on the uh, example of your project in Mexico, how does it work and how would you like to spread this circular economy uh, through your activities? Well, first of all, for many, for many energy consumers, renewables are already per se uh, an important part of the uh, circular economy. The renewables are circular by nature. So we use and reuse and reuse and reuse it again the, 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 the force of, uh, and the strength, the force of, of nature. So the resources that are made available for sun, wind, uh, water, and, and whatever. But we went much farther than this, and uh, we're now addressing the reuse of components. We are studying the entire life cycle of uh, materials that we use in our, for our technology. Uh, we are uh, already addressing the issues of the dismantling and disposal of our plants at the end of their technical life. We are thinking, for example, in storage, that is something completely new, so it's not yet really implemented at scale worldwide. We're already considering the possibility to use second-hand batteries. So batteries that have been used for a while in the automotive sector, not any longer um, usable for that uh, usage, but um, absolutely... The so not to trash them, but uh, to reuse it. Yeah, to use it in, uh, in power projects, so with some uh, reworking on, on them. So, and you can make other example of, of this kind of... Uh, so we have all our construction sites that are designed under the concept of sustainability, so minimizing the water consumption, the electricity consumption, and generating the con our needs through mainly through uh, renewable power during the construction of renewable uh, projects. Uh, renewable with the renewable sources. Correct, correct. So we are really moving one step ahead and we hope that other, the, our competitors, but mostly, mainly our customers, can appreciate this effort and uh, join us in mm, a broader concept of renewability, which is, which is sustainability. So let's say that you are like spreading the renewable uh, lifestyle, yes? Business yeah. lifestyle. Absolutely. I don't have uh, gas in my house. I eat and cook only with electricity, mm -hmm. and I drive only with electricity. So, and my, the electricity one day will be 100% renewable. So, of course, uh, very, uh, soon. I'm very soon. I, I'm giving the example. So, uh, last question because we are at the event of uh, Alliance for Rural Electrification, and as you might, might remember, I was also helping Ernesto to set up this organization a lot of years ago. Today, this organization is successful. You set up partnership uh, with um, Rest for Africa. And I would like to ask you, what are your, uh, let's say, future plans together? We, are, we will cooperate uh, in the capacity building uh, sector, uh, contributing to the education of many, many young students in order to be able to work maybe very soon in professions related to sustainability, to renewables, uh, to electricity access. We will cooperate in uh, designing uh, mini grids and micro grids uh, programs uh, so that they can be doable and they can attract the interest of investors and we will cooperate also to re-strength the, co the concept that energy access means multiple choices, multiple solutions, including large grid connected projects. So we want to uh, multiply the efforts like uh, the scaling solar projects by involving uh, uh, multilaterals from Europe, for example, that are mm -hmm. somewhat missing, to to create additional or let's say other program like a scaling solar. To, to work together, yes, with to different work together uh, stakeholders. In the transmission, in the generation, to all together converge to the common goal of uh, providing uh, energy access to millions and uh, more than 600 million of, uh, of people. And th I think this is the final statement, yes, that we should work together Absolutely. in order, uh, you know, to make this map that you showed at the beginning, uh, the map that you showed at the end. Absolutely, hopefully mm, ahead of time. Yes, okay. Thank you so much. That was Solar PV TV from the fourth investment conference of Alliance for Rural Electrification. And we are together with uh, President of Res for Africa and also CEO of NL Green Power, who is uh, introducing the renewable energy lifestyle to the world. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.